Okay, so let's have a look at how we can find the equation to some graphs. Okay, this is the first one we're looking at. So we've got a parabola and we've got a turning point and another point. So we need this in turning point form. So what we're going to do, I'm going to say turning point form for a parabola is a x minus h all squared plus k, where h and k make up the coordinates of the turning point, and then we've got to solve for a. So we're going to say in front of this, I'm going to say define f of x equals that. Now that's done. Now from no, that's not right. I don't want that many brackets. So you've got to be careful with cas. I don't want this second set of brackets because then also squares the a. Start it again. Ah, because we've got all times. So really careful. A times. And we get rid of that. Now it should be right. So a times that. If we don't put in the times, it won't work. Okay, so then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to say that, uh, so we take our turning point, which is 1 and 5. So we're going to say, um, actually, no, I don't know if we need to do that. So we have uh, 1, because it's positive 1, and 5. So that's what we've got for our equation. That's defining that. And now what we do is we substitute this value 2, x for 2, and y for 10, and we solve for a. So we're going to write solve. Uh, f of 2, 2, close the brackets, equals, it equals 10 for a. Now we press enter and tell us that a is 5. So our equation ends up being, I'll delete this so you can see it, 5x minus 1 all squared plus 5. And we can check it on CAS by doing that. And then we can, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go to graphing page. Hope you like listening to bubble guppies. And we're going to paste that. And we'll see that there it is. So that's pretty much uh, what we've got there. So that's how to do that one. That's because we had it in turning point form. If we look at the next one, We've got this. We don't have turning point form. We said, what do we have these things? Well, we've got our x steps. So we have to put this one in back to form. So we're going to define, define g of x equals a, we go times, x minus b times x minus c. I'm going to leave it as that. And now, so b will be 0, c will be 5. 0, oops. Five, zero. So now we've got that there. Now we're going to use this point here, 6 and 10. So once again, we're going to say solve g uh, 6. 6, close it, whoops, open bracket, 6, close the bracket, equals 10, and we're solving for A, and it tells A is 5 over 3. Okay, so for the next one, we've got some cubics. Um, I'm just going to stop it, and then we're going to have a look at the next one.